This is my 2022 BMW M240i X-Drive with the M package. Oh, I gotta keep getting used to that. Now, for those that know, I used to have a 2022 Toyota Supra with the B58 engine, which is what these bad boys also have. But my biggest issue with the 2022 Supra was one, with the interior, in my opinion, it was lacking. I definitely think it could have been a better car if it had this interior, but it it makes sense to why they didn't. Um, my guess is just a marketing thing with money because it's Toyota. And they didn't want to give them the new infotainment system and the new redesigned interior of BMW. But I do think that the Supra was lacking the interior for sure. Because you're getting a 2022 or 2023 new car and the interior still feels outdated um but with this it takes care of that so i traded in my 2023 toyota 4runner 40th anniversary um basically almost straight across to just keep the same of everything that i was you know paying for and then at the end of the loan with everything that i've been paying it'll be about just sixes with everything and i thought you know i'm gonna get an m4 comp I had a Supra. Maybe I need to get my feet a little bit more wet, you know, in BMW to see if I truly want a BMW M4 competition down the road, which would end up being probably in a year or two. So, daily drive a 4Runner for the next year to two years, or... Which one should I select? Oh, that picked up my voice. Or daily something like this. And for the bang for the buck, I think this is perfect. Um, heated steering wheel. Still got all buttons that you can push, which I love. I don't like the digital. Not a fan of it. Everything else is updated in this vehicle. I'm not a rear wheel drive guy. I like all wheel drive and um, I like the bang for the buck type deal. Like I want to know what my money's getting into. And a Supra is kind of lacking that. Um, but that's okay. Now we got this. This has the B58 all-wheel drive ZF8 speed transmission. And honestly, this feels anything and everything just as fast as my Mark V Supra did. Just like 90% a little bit slower on the top end. <laughs> Everything lower end feels almost exactly the same. And from a dig, oh, a dig is amazing in this all-wheel drive. But let's go take it for a drive. And you guys can kind of hear the in-cabin sounds. driving in comfort mode and then down here you get all those buttons so we're gonna put it into sport and the screen changes and it downshifts and keeps it in a good rpm range oh the other thing that i knew that the supra was lacking very bad is that they had the heads up display on the premiums um, but it only had the speed limit and the speed that you were going and I hated that because I thought a heads up display you would need the RPMs to show well that wasn't the case in the Supra this has a heads up display and it shows not only the speed limit and the miles per hour but also the RPM range Finally, B58 
because I felt like if you were on a track day and you were needing to effortlessly, <laughs> but if you were on a track day and you need to see RPMs and you know, with the heads up display being as good as it is, just right there where it needs to be, you need an RPM gauge. But I think for a car that's gonna end up being with me for the next year and a half to two years most likely, while I get ready to buy an M4 comp, I think this is perfect. Because it will upgrade to the S58, which is in the M4 competition. And the responsiveness of the ZF8 speed, it's like the second you know you want to do it and you click, it just knows. It's my favorite thing about the S, not the S58, my favorite thing about the ZF8 speed. I will say the new paddle shifters on the back, unless I'm remembering wrong, these feel a bit different than the Supras. Or it's because of the steering wheel position. I feel like the paddle shifters could be out just slightly more. So you can click it back here, but right here I'm kind of having to reach forward for it and kind of curl my hands forward on it. But that's okay. Not horrible. It's my only complaint so far with this vehicle. The Super I had ones right off the bat. Just so easy. big pull right here. <laughs> videos with this vehicle as time goes on and hopefully you guys enjoy the video of this slight review but if you're thinking about buying one I support and I definitely recommend this I'm happy that I had the Supra because it made me appreciate everything that I did not have video hope you guys have a good day please like and subscribe if you like this type of content and i hope you guys have a good day